Hello, I'm going to talk about a TV show today. Uh, it's an animated show, um, and granted, you know, it might seem different because, you know, this is called film talk and we are talking about a TV show. But, you know, it, it, uh, I think this series can have any forms of medium, the art of film, um, television shows, you know, use film techniques, and even cartoons do, you know, there's animated films, so similar techniques are used, um, but th this, this show, uh, was on for like a decade, and plus, I grew up watching this show, and obviously from the title, you probably already know what it is, but... To anybody who has never seen the show, or has even heard of it, um, basically, uh, Space Goes Coast to Coast is a mock uh, talk show where the, the character Space Ghost, he was a 60s, uh, Space Ghost was a sh show in the 60s, it was a cartoon, and uh, he went around fighting criminals in the galaxy and in the 90s because talk shows were a huge thing um, on Cartoon Network they had a 15 minute show called Space Coast Coast to Coast and the whole thing was it's parroting the entire huge talk show uh, uh, kind of genre that really was pretty huge in the in the 90s. Now, it had been huge, obviously, for decades before, but in the 90s, you had so many talk shows on different networks. So, Cartoon Network, uh, Mike Lazo, you know, he created this show, and other people have write him, or write, uh, write the show, and um, it originally was supposed to be something else, like, uh, but with Coast to Coast, like, Wacky Racers or some other show from way back when. And, uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, <clears throat> DVD sets. Now, I, I have all of these sets. I will actually put up some pictures right now for you guys to see what the other sets look like. And the reason I'm not gonna show the other three is because, well, um, you know, in the past I've shown a bunch of DVDs or Blu-rays, and, well, uh, there's a tendency that's happened where uh, they fall either off of the shelf, I've like I didn't ex actually have them very secure as I thought, or I dropped them. So, yeah, those are some of the pictures, or the covers of the volumes, um, first three volumes, those were actually uh, sold in stores. The first three volumes have the complete first four seasons. Well, I shouldn't say that, because the first volume has seasons one and two, but they're various episodes. They don't have all of them, because um, there's some sort of... Uh, legal thing regarding some interviews, because the thing with this show is they, again, it's a mock tele, a TV show, or talk show, not TV show, it is a TV show, it's a mock uh, talk show, it's a parody talk show, whatever you want to call it, makes fun of those tropes, and then also, it's 15 minutes, because it's making fun of the, you know, this thing in showbiz, 15 minutes of fame, well, it was kind of also parodying that, uh, so, uh, Here's volume four, the 1998 episodes, the f complete fifth season, um, and uh, volume five from the Kentucky Nightmare DVD. It's just along the side and back. Yeah, 1998 episodes.
But yeah, uh, I'm showing these two because uh, these were not released in stores. Um, these were only available through AdultSwim.com, and AdultSwim.com also had the first three volumes. Um, volume two it, it had season three, the complete season three, and season all of season four was on volume three, five, six, and seven. Now there was originally eight seasons on cartoon or of Space Ghost Coast to Coast. The eighth season of Volume Six, with the last seven episodes, never came about. Now it would seem logically speaking, because 2004, 2005, 2000, or, no, 2003, 2004, and 2005 was Volumes One through Three for the Space Ghost. 2006 there was nothing, but then. Um, Yes, I believe. Uh, uh, I believe this was 2000. Yeah, 2006. Yeah, 2006. It was. Yeah, this did come out 2006, late 2006. Um, and then this didn't come out for another two years. That was the thing that I was trying to remember if it was a. Which was like the two-year gap, because there's or. A year gap, or a two-year gap between volumes. Um, but yeah, that was this. 2006, this came out fall. And it would seem like this would come out fall 2007, while this came out 2008. Well, then it's like, well, there's only one volume really left for to be as a complete series as it can be. Well, volume 6 really never came. Unknown reasons. Um, if you have Aqua Teen Hunger Force, uh, uh, the second volume, you have the very first episode of the eighth season uh, called Baffler Meal, and that's because, well, an original the the reason why this is the Kentucky Nightmare, uh, which was an episode with uh, a shark in front of Space Ghost's desk. He's interviewing Willie Nelson. And a whole bunch of stuff happens. There's a liquor chain bought the show, and then there's a bear, and so weird. Basically, this show often gets random, even though it has guests, uh, live action guests, like uh, they actually, actually film an actual interview, like you know, in that episode with Willie Nelson, and the other episodes had, um, you know, uh, Charlton Heston, Weird Al Yankovic, Mark Hamill, um. There's various guests, some a moment of the time, who are really huge during that period. And then after that period, they just never really, they weren't that, you know, big uh, again. And, um, but, <laughs> and that, that originally, that Kentucky Nightmare episode with the shark and all, Willie Nelson, that wasn't supposed to be that episode. It was supposed to be. Was, or was supposed to be the episode was Aqua Teen Hunger Force, which was the introduction. Where, and the drawings and voices, except for Meatwad, he basically looked and sounded the same. He sounded exactly the same, and he basically looked the same, except on the actual Aqua Teen show, he's darker and all, but like the meatball. But, yeah, he, uh... But they... The creators, uh, the producers uh, of the show, kind of, they didn't like it because, like, you, you don't have Willie in it. Like, you don't focus on Willie enough. And he said, well, that was the point. Because the guys have been developing Aqua Teen Hunger Force for a while, but, you know, they thought that would be a good way to uh, kind of give the launch for that show, you know back when they were developing new episodes, as well as some new series when Adult Swim was starting, that that would be a cool, you know, little uh, launch pad for that. Uh, uh, those characters in that show, but they did re they rejected that, so they reworked that episode, and then it became Kentucky Nightmare. And they later had that episode, they 
recorded, animated the Aqua Teen episode, put that Willie Nelson interview back into how it was intended to be, and then, you know, what happens, happens. Uh, Space Quest is a very random show. It's also a show with a very particular sense of humor. Uh, so in a, in a way, it will not actually, it might not be funny to everybody. I grew up watching this show. I watched other shows like Monty Python. I watched some other things. But the Space Ghost really did help form my sense of humor. And um, I've changed. I've been able to develop a... Uh, I've been able to like mimic voices and do voices. Uh, and this show helped me with that. I do that for you now, but I don't know. Whenever I've tried to do that on... Um, cameras of any sort, you know, like a computer or phone or whatever, it's, it doesn't sound right, so I, I'm going to refrain from doing that here, but some of the first voices I could do was from Space Ghost, like Space Ghost, Zorak, Barak, Moltar, etc., and it's, it's, a, it's, it's quite a show. Like if it's your, if you get that humor, and I can't really exactly describe it, but if you've seen Aqua Teen Hunger Force, if you've seen other shows like that on Adult Swim, that's the kind of humor uh, that that uh, Space Ghost would fall in. And Space Ghost came before all of this. In fact, if it wasn't for Space Ghost, there wouldn't be. Teen Hunger Force, the one be Cartoon Planet, which was the first spin-off from uh, Space Ghost. There won't be Aqua Teen. I already mentioned that. And there won't be Brack, the Brack Show. Um, there's a show Perfect Hair Forever. There's Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. And the reason I'm saying that is because in Space Ghost Coast to Coast, Birdman, the other 60s uh, superhero cartoon character, and there's other cartoon characters in all that, like, make appearances on the show. Um, uh, they gave Birdman the name Harvey. And, and when they decided to use Birdman as a character from Hanna-Barbera to use in a show, they kept with Harvey. You know, Harvey Birdman, because why not? Um, and this, it's it's quite an interesting show. I know we keep saying things like that, but it's one of those things, if you haven't seen it, it's kind of hard to truly explain. You have to have seen a few episodes, at least, to understand it, honestly. Um, I could just talk about some various random episodes, but even then, it wouldn't really do those episodes justice or even the show. Um... Now, yeah, unfortunately, for some reason, Volume 6 never happened, never came out. Um, so, yeah, eight seasons were on from two, uh, 1994 to 2004. Uh, the last two episodes were in 2004 in April, around the 10th anniversary. Um, and then it stopped. And then... In 2006, like two years later, on a website called uh, GameTap. Um, I'm not sure if it, that might still be right, up, but the, there was a video section for a while where you could watch content. You could watch like video game news, you can watch various uh, things related to the video game world, and uh. Space Ghost, uh, Coast to Coast, um, was a show on there for a while, and, and unfortunately most of these episodes are gone now, and like, occasionally you can see them on YouTube, but then I've seen they get taken up, down here and there because of copyright and stuff, so, but, you know, well, same with the actual show, uh, there's been times, like, for, like, a full year, 
all the episodes are on YouTube, and then they eventually get taken down. Um, but, you know, with these episodes, those, uh, and that kind of revival of Space Ghost on GameTap went on for another two years, so it went on for two more seasons, 2006 to 2008. So it was like 10 seasons, over 100 episodes. Uh, and that's... In the later seasons from the episodes I saw, I've seen, because, uh, I don't know, they're just not complete. And, uh... You know, complete in the sense of, like, not every episode has been shown shown up on YouTube, or if they have, they get taken down. Um, but from what I've seen, it, it's not that great. It's, like, those, those two seasons are alright. I mean, in comparison to the original run, you know, the first eight seasons, yeah, it wasn't... They were okay. They, they, they interviewed video game people, people in, uh, very prominent in the video game world. But, yeah. Um, I will say some of the... Many of the episodes, or maybe the series in general, uh, will probably seem very dated to many people. If they didn't grow up watching it like me, or even if you did, like me, it, it's it's dated. And it could probably really seem dated to those who have never seen it before. You know, it's very much a product of the 90s and the 2000s. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I actually think that's a strength for the show. Um, because you get to see people who at the time were really famous. And they would come in and they'd try and promote, like, a, if they're actors, like, there's a movie I did or some of my best-known stuff. Just kind of talking about their career. Uh, and... There's like an episode of, on the Mask VHS, uh, of Space Ghost, where he interviews Jim Carrey, him the director of the Mask, and um, it's quite interesting to say, and you can find that on YouTube. Uh, but you know, it, yeah, they're very much a product of the time, and uh, I actually. Again, I do think that works for the show's favor. Uh, uh, you get to see people who are pretty famous. And some are still famous. Some just for that moment in time. As I kind of said earlier. But it's quite fascinating. and it's, The humor is unique. It can turn some people off of the show. Like, it's just... It, it's not their humor. Or... Maybe the humor they might, people might think is annoying. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I enjoy this show. Um, a few years back, you know, C. Martin Croker, uh, the voice actor of Moltar and Zorak, and the animation director on the show and various other shows on Adult Swim, and the guy who did. Or how it was an instrumental part of getting Adult Swim up and running. Uh, you know, he passed away unexpectedly. Um, you know, don't really know exact cause of his death. You know, none has been at least uh, revealed to the public. Um, yeah, some people have speculated from some of the stuff heard and you know um, I guess what was a little bit reported and they can just go from there but nothing's truly uh, concrete um, on that and, and that was sad I made a video about that obviously but it, it's yeah that show is so uh, huge part of my childhood growing up that when he passed away it was like an uncle died a good a good close uncle died 
And I, I can only imagine when George Lowe and Andy Merrill, George Lowe voiced Space Ghost, Andy Merrill voiced Brack, most voiced Lowcar. Um, I knew Dave Willis, who voiced Meatwad on, uh, and Meatwad and Carl on Aqua Teen. He also did various voices and wrote for uh, Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. Uh, I'm sure those guys pass away, I'll feel very similar to how I felt when C. Martin Croker died. I just hope they pass away uh, years from now uh, because they're very talented and uh, I do enjoy the, seeing the stuff that they do. Or just like C. Martin Croker's and um All the episodes actually of Space Ghost are on AdultSwim.com, like um, like because of Seymour and Kroger's passing, they like had all those episodes available to watch, um, and I've watched those episodes a lot uh, since then. Uh, I still do. The only thing is. Um, What's weird is they categorize like the seasons and like I can tell the uh, the year they came out like the episodes came out because season four actually ended the last episode was in 1998 but for some reason they put that with the fifth season and even in the description of uh, that episode which is now seen as the first episode of season five, um, Space Coast, Coast to Coast on the website. It even says in the description it's the season finale, so that should actually go uh, into the previous season. And for some reasons, there's a season nine, which never aired on uh, Cartoon Network Adult Swim. And it has the last two episodes of the series, which came out in 2004. Even though it's, it had always been put out as season eight, like it was always season eight, uh, but by, for whatever reason, I don't understand why. Because otherwise, like season seven has, or season eight has, like five episodes, and it's like in some of the epi seasons before had like eleven or eight episodes or something so they didn't have like a huge number of episodes in a season really ever except for season four which had 24 episodes that was like the biggest season they did and um and I, and in my opinion and i think many other opinion on the show that's like the best season because they all had a because the writers came in and they had to really do the best job they could of producing like 24, 25 episodes out for that uh, year or that season. And they did quite a great, uh, a big job, or a great job. And, um, yeah, it's just weird. Uh, I've never heard of a two-episode season. Like, a season goes for two episodes and that's it. I know there was, there's been said, like... There's supposed to be two more episodes to follow those, like um, one with Seth MacFarlane and another with uh, Seth Green. And there's a, and you can tell from one with Seth Green because in Aqua Teen Hunger Force they have like the Space Ghost monitor for him to interview the guests, and um, you can see Seth Green there, and he, like a. In the opening of Alco Teen Hunger Force, like Doctor Weird, like ripped off uh, Space Ghost's head, and then he puts on his own head, which is weird. And then Seth Green just like like go like uh, you know, like like that's messed up or something like of that of the sort. And they said like I guess like there was a website that. Uh, kept track of all the production and just all the episodes and um, uh, 
apparently they got word that a Seth MacFarlane episode was in the works, and they also interviewed Seth Green, but those uh, episodes never came to be. Uh, I'm curious as to what those episodes would have been like. Um, but anyway, even with that odd thing, like uh, the last two episodes of the series not being with season eight, because it's like, it's just two episodes. I mean, really? Is it? I don't know. Just, if it was me, I'd just like, yeah, I can be eighth season. So. Otherwise, like, what's the point of having two episodes just on their own? That doesn't make sense. Um, and then for the season finale of season four with the f fifth season is a bit odd as well, but hey, I don't know. It's Adult Swim, and it's Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. Maybe they did that on purpose. I don't know. But all the episodes are available on Space Ghost Co or AdultSwim.com. There's no Space Ghost, Coast to Coast.com. At least I don't believe there is. But yeah, uh, if you go to that website, in the video section, you can watch all the episodes. If you grew up watching them, might want to, and you enjoy them, you might want to uh, rewatch them. Uh, still pretty good, in my opinion. The last two episodes are pretty. They have some. The language is a bit more rough, let's just say. Uh, from what I've heard, they uh, figure like. They were getting canceled, so right after the last few episodes of the season or their series, just go all out uh, as they can, go crazy, and they did. In a way, uh, it makes sense with this show, of Space Ghost. Um, but yeah. Uh, Volumes 1 through 3 are great. Volumes 4 and 5 also great. Wish Volume 6 came out on DVD. Um, all the episodes are also available to own on iTunes. So there you go. Um, maybe like 10 volumes. They split up like seasons 3 and 4. It did. Season 3 is volumes 3 and 4, and season 4 is 5 and 6, and then the rest just go up to 10. Like, the last 7 episodes make up, like, will be the 8th season. Yeah. Uh, so, there you go. That's another way you can own them. I did, um, t before I end this, um, I mentioned before Shout Factory and Scream Factory. And just another way of uh, saying how great a uh, company they are, at least in terms of responding uh, to people who message them, like through Facebook and uh, even emails. Um, I messaged them about the, if they ever possibly looked into the. Seeing about uh, getting the rights or licensing rights to Space Ghost Coast to Coast, and I actually explained what all happened. Like the first uh, two seasons were on the first, not all the episodes were on the first volume. Some episodes and seasons uh, are for volume two and four, and. And even actually, maybe even volume three, but there's some, yeah, there's throughout some of the volumes of the DVDs, some things had to be changed to avoid copyright. And if, it, you know, they're a great company that does the best to try and restore every TV show and every movie the best way they can be in, in the, the way it was originally intended to be seen. So my message is. Messaged them this all this big long thing, 
about possibly looking into uh, getting Space Coast coast to coast. They said that they, they responded within 24 hours how said basically like, you know, we haven't, you know, uh, we have no, they have no plans in the near future to do so, but they will keep that in mind and um, like how That is, um, I even explained how the last season didn't even come out. The eighth season. And I know I said there's two more seasons after that, but quite honestly, uh, <clears throat> if there's a complete series set of Space Goes Coast to Coast, those two seasons, honestly, I guess you wouldn't really be missing much if those two seasons were not on, uh, a complete series set of the show. Uh, quite honestly, and I love the show. Uh, so, I guess that's saying something. Uh, maybe not. Uh, Space Coast Coast to Coast is my favorite show of all time. Um, I love it. Uh, George Lowe's great as Space Ghost. C. Martin Croker was amazing as Zorak and Moltar. Andy Merrill as Brack was just... Uh, uh, he was Brack. He also voiced other characters like Lokar. Um, but it's a great show. Very entertaining. I recommend watching it if you haven't watched it. But uh, if you have watched it and you do enjoy it, I, I think you know what I'm talking about. I know this video went on longer than I expected. Uh, over 30 minutes. But I love this show. I want to just say as much as I about, uh, about it as I could. And... Uh, I'd keep going, but uh, I don't think people want to watch this for an hour. Uh, so, uh, until next time, uh, have a good day, have a good week. Yeah, until next time. Bye.